Hey guys, back with another video here. Today I'm looking at the Google fourth generation Nest learning thermostat. This one comes with um, the actual thermostat itself and then um, one Nest temperature sensor. So we'll go ahead and uh, open this box. I'll show you what it looks like out of the packaging and then we'll get it installed. Uh, when you open the box, you can see it's presented really nice. It's it's a clean finish on, on the front of the thermostat. It's It seems like it's smaller than uh, my existing Nest, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, and then here's the, um, the, the uh, sensor itself. Um, underneath here is uh, some face plates and some screws. We'll show you that. So if you um, go one level deeper here in the box, you have the um, bracket where you will make all your connections, your wiring connections to. Um, on the bottom is the actual connection for the um, device itself and then on the top it's got like a little level that will also light up when it gets power so you know it's powered. Um, instruction manual uh, and then underneath this uh, layer here are the brackets so we've got a um, face plate that you can put so that it looks flush with the wall. I'm not going to be using that and then there's another bracket here as well as some mounting screws. So I will be replacing one of the uh, my existing nests. They are the original version. So they're the first generation. You can see the size difference um, here, not only from the screen display size, but also just the actual physical size. When you look at it on the side, it's not much, it doesn't, it's not like it's much thinner from a profile standpoint, um, but certainly there's a lot more viewable area on this display and you'll see that when it gets installed. I'm expecting this to be relatively easy install because of the way that it's already configured. Um, it's got all the connections already plugged into the proper spots, so I'm just going to take a picture of this and then I'll remove those wires, put the new faceplate on. So we'll just um, slide the wires through the hole here in the center on the new faceplate, and then this will sit flush against the wall. I'll we'll have to put two screws in it. Uh, and then we'll line up the wires uh, where they go with the right connection points and we'll be good to go. So while I'm lining up these wires here with the appropriate connection points, there is an app that I'm showing you here on the screen that can walk you through how to uh, set all this up. And you can see it usually takes about 30 minutes. It tells you exactly what you need um, in terms of tools and then it will walk you through each step of the process. So once you've got the um, faceplate through the wires and lined up, you can go ahead and drill uh, your, your screws in. I, luckily I had a stud right behind here, but you might need to use wall anchors. And then you can go ahead and line these up, uh, organize the wires, line them up with the appropriate spots, and get ready to press them into the actual connectors. So this is what it will look like when it's complete. You'll want to go ahead and just push the excess wires back into the hole and then we'll put the faceplate on and turn on the power. Okay, once you've got uh, power back on, you fire up the app again and it will look to uh, connect with the, with the Nest thermostat. It will ask you what language you want to use uh, and then it will ask you for the settings, either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, and then you will um, make sure that the connected wires you connected match what's on the display here. And then it will um, test the power and it will look to connect to your Wi-Fi. So at this point, um, it will look for your Wi-Fi uh, network and you will select your SSID and then you will um, go ahead and put in your password and it will connect up. Uh, and once it's connected, it will immediately look for the latest updates out on the internet so it can download the latest firmware. Um, so it'll run through that process. In the meantime, it will ask you some questions about your house, uh, you know, your heating and cooling unit, and it will walk through some of the features of the, the app itself. Uh, so here I'll just select where the device is. This one's downstairs, and now it'll walk through a little bit of the value, the energy shifts, the um, away from home settings, uh, those kind of things so you can set this so that when you walk in the door if you've been gone for a while it'll detect you and it will just turn the thermostat on um, so it'll go through all those settings and then I will fast forward here to when it's downloaded the latest update so here you can see it's booting up and um, and then the app will again kind of walk you through a quick start so it shows you how to rotate and adjust the temperature uh, and then if you just simply press down on the uh, display itself, it will um, go into a menu and now you have 
kind of all your options here to switch between manually between heat and cool. There's an eco mode, there's settings, uh, et cetera. This can all be done from the app as well.